Hey there everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Stadium. My name is Andy, better known as The Uncommentator. This is episode number 35 of the series. In this episode we're going back to the future gym to take on Koga. So uh, let's crack on with it. So as you can see, we go into the gym and we, before we get to Koga, we've got the Juggler, the Tamer and the Biker to deal with. Now one thing I forgot to mention on, um, well I should have really mentioned it on the Brock episode. Uh, the first time you go through this game, you have to complete the... Um, the gym's in order, and when you when you defeat a gym, you get a key to uh, to unlock the next gym. And obviously, we're in a position where we can flip between the gyms and choose what and uh, do what we want. That's because I've always that's because I've already completed the game on this cartridge. So, uh, but if I ha if I hadn't, then uh, yeah, you won't be able to do um, what I, what I uh, you want to do what I can do and just flick and you know, flick into the elite for you. So you have to uh, get to complete the gyms in order. Um, and when you do complete a gym, you get a uh, you get a key to unlock the next you get a key to unlock the next gym. Um, so yeah, maybe I should have mentioned that. I don't think it really I don't think it's going to change the world that announcement, but um, it feels like a bit of uh, air time when I'm picking my team. Just one left to go, and it is Moltres. So let's go. So of course, Koga the Poison Purveyor. Before we get to him, a few gimmicky battles coming up. First one against the Juggler. So, let's have a look at our team first before we uh, start the battles. So, we'll start off with Beedrill. So, Beedrill, a poison type, so it resists poison. And it's got Twin Needle, which is super effective uh, against poisons. That's pretty much going to be the uh, the strategy for Beedrill. Needle King, uh, very similar to Beedrill. So, it, poison type, so it resists poison. It can't be poisoned. Uh, and we've got Earthquake, which is super effective against poison. Next up, we've got Clefable. So, Clefable, decent defense. A uh, good special. Ice Beam is never a bad move to have. Clefable, normally, <laughs> normally a problem facing the Clefable, so let's hope it can cause one uh, now, I've, now I've got it. Uh, another poison type in Victory Bell. Uh, so Victory Bell, we, we can poison with Toxic if we can uh, go up against anything that isn't a poison type, basically. That's kind of going to be the, uh, the part of the strategy there. Also, Acid with a high attack should be decent enough damage, uh, but won't be amazing, to be honest with you. Next up, my my fa ah, my favourite Gengar. You think think I won't mess up his introduction if he's my favourite. But yeah, Gengar my favourite. So again, a poison type, so it can't be poisoned. Also, we've got a psychic move, which is super effective against poisons. So if we can get that away, that'd be great. Thunderbolt, never a bad move to have up your sleeve. And last but not least, uh, Moltres is pretty much all about that fire blast. So that's the team. So we're fighting poison with poison a lot of the time, but not against this guy because he doesn't have a poison type. But to battle the the juggler. We are going to pick Beedrill, Gengar, and Nido King. So Beedrill, uh, Bug, super effective against Psychic. I don't think this guy. I think that I think the um, yeah, I think the theme of this guy with it being a juggler, it's something. I can't remember what the theme is. It may be, this may be a metronome battle. Look, looking at the team. So hopefully, if we get a better look, Beedrill can do some damage with uh, Twin Needle. Um, obviously Gengar, we've got Thunderbolt, so super effective against Slowbro. King, physical attacker, so good against the Alakazam, obviously super effective against the two electrics, so... We just have to see what we get here, I think this is going to be uh, out of our hands somewhat. Right, let's go! After my bum on the way through, <laughs> through that introduction. The reason, the reason that threw me is I've got, on my, on my notes, I've got the Biker down as first. I think the Biker is first on round one. But then the order changes for round two. Right, we're still going to find out here if this is a um, if this is a metronome battle. Because if it's not, then I'm going to get I'm probably going to die in a minute. So we'll go twin needle. You know, Slowbro's best stat is its defense. So this won't do a hell of a lot, but it'll do decent. Oh, we poisoned it. Well, 50 damage. I thought it'd do a bit more than that. Can mimic. Ooh, okay. Okay, I wonder if that's the theme then. Um, I may switch to Gengar here. No, I'll stay in. Actually, no, I should have switched. <laughs> this is the only water type, so it would have made sense to send out the Pokemon with the electric move. We'll stay in. Hopefully. Okay. Heavy damage, apparently. Uh, Beedrill's special isn't the best. Bubble Beam, eh? Um, I didn't think it, I didn't think it had a psychic move. Otherwise, I want to pick three poison 
poison types. Um. And you know what? Mega Drain. That's super effective. Won't hardly do anything, but get a little bit of life back. Because then the uh, the tween needle can knock out the uh, do the rest of the damage. Then yeah, stick with Bubble Beam. Okay. So one last twin needle, and then we're good. Can I should have gone to Gengar straight away now, but yeah, well, you live and learn. Beedrill actually, um, Oak's suggested team. Beedrill's actually in it, so uh, I'm listening to Oak in that sense. So look at Koga's um, Koga's little bio that he gets. <coughs> we'll see what the next Pokemon is first. Ah, I'm Electro. We are going to switch this time, <laughs> but not to not to Gengar. Um, so need a king. Should be no call this. Silent as a shadow, fleeting as the wind, and controlled by his own iron will. Koga, the ninja master, shrouds himself in the smoke, excreted by a dangerous poison type Pokemon. Well, that sounds delightful, doesn't it? Oh, hello. Oh, that's fortunate. I was, I was sure it was going to be Earthquake then, so I'd have been. We'd have been, we'd have been in trouble, because this is going to outspeed me as well. Well, let's just knock this out quickly. Hopefully this is a one shot. Should be. No, don't do, don't bother. Well, this is just wasting turns. Every time it goes for substitute, it'll just get broken straight away. So eventually, eventually I have to actually do something. So just keep going for earthquake till it runs out. The only, the only, whoever wrote this guy, the only thing they're good at is is a complex sentence. Apart from that, and I'm no English teacher, but yeah, they do like a complex sentence. Sure they can't get the sure they can't get the uh, the actual fact the things that matter are accurate like the t the moves or the names of the Pokemon or basic grammar in some cases. Right, let's give it the ghost on that one. When it comes out now, it's taking damage. Yeah, that's okay. Decent damage as well. Without speed, its defenses well not without speed sorry, but its defense is poor. Maybe a two hit kill actually. Yep, easily. So if it goes for Mimic again, I think it knows the game's up here. Uh, yep, yeah, so Earthquake, that's what I'm thinking about. Okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe Substitute's the gimmick rather than, rather than the Mimic gimmick, I don't know. Either way, it'll break, yeah, right, so it's going to have to do something now. I'm, I'm imagining it can't, it can't have Psychic. I can't remember anything about this, I can't remember anything about this battle. <laughs> Okay, it does have a psychic move. Well, if this is a critical hit, this will knock me out. So we may have a problem. Yeah, we could have had a problem there, because we obviously were all three poison types, so... Right, not so you are gone. Why don't you just go for that in the first place? If it got for that in the first place, it would knock me out, and then I would have been in potentially in trouble. I would have potentially been in trouble. A curious, uh... A curious choice. So, just a half-life electrode left. Um, we can survive whatever it's going to do here. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Back to the mimic gimmick. Oh, that'd be fun. Electrode doing a horn drill. Well, it's a shame we're not going to get a chance to see it. So that was nice and straightforward. Right, that was easy. So we've uh, got rid of the circus, and now we can move on to the. This is the team the next. I thought the. Okay. I wonder if I've just made a typo. I don't know. Right, so the team. I think it's going to be another uh, gimmicky battle. I think this is going to be uh, like the team on. I think it's the Poke Cup Master Ball, where he's got. A, they've all got critical hit moves. So I'd imagine uh, Kingler has got. Um, I may be wrong here completely, but I imagine Kingler's got Crab Hammer, Sandslash has got Slash, 
Scythe has got Slash, Victor Bell's got Razor Leaf, Machamp's probably got Low Kick, or Karate Chop, whichever one. I think it would be Low Kick, I would have thought. And Persian will have Slash. I may be wrong, but I imagine that's the case. So, to battle the um, Tamer, it's Clefable, Gengar, and Moltres. So, Clefable, uh, obviously Ice Beam, Super Vector against Scyther, Super Vector against Sand Slash. Gengar, we've got Thunderbolt, so we're Super Vector against Kingler. Also immune to Slash, if that is the gimmick. I don't know what Sand Slash's other move is, but I think if Persian or Scyther come out, I think it's definitely sending Gengar. Possibly Machamp as well, actually. Uh, Super Vector against that as well with uh, Dream Eater. Obviously, Victory Bell, really. Moltres just for Victory Bell. But, of course, could do a job against Scyther and Machamp. Right. I hope, that, I hope that's a gimmick. If it is, I think we'll be okay. Let's go. I think it's sending Clefable first, do what we can, and then go from there. I think that's kind of the plan here. Hoping it's Scyther. Oh, that, that's even better, actually. Yeah, that's actually yeah, that's much better than Scyther. Now, I don't know if we're going to outspeed or not. Um, but I do know we're going to Ice Beam. Yeah, I thought we'd go second. Right, is this a two-hit kill? I don't think it will be. Yeah, you see, a bit of a tanks, Clefable. This won't be a one-hit kill. Or an Oko, as I like to call them. Not even close. <laughs> Hello. So off the perfect start anyway, so um unless he switches out, of course. Right, so probably dead next turn, but we've got the uh, we've got the advantage, I think. I don't know if we're slower than I don't know if there's anything that we're faster than, maybe. If it's going to be anything, it'll be Machamp, but I, I, I think even Machamp will outspeed us. Will it be in round two? What Pokemon will be fighting next? The, other, the other three definitely will. And the other four, sorry. Oh, well, Uncle Fable did what you needed to do. Oh, hello. I'm tempted to switch here to Gengar, but I don't think there's, a, I don't think there's any need, really, because I think we're dead. I think we're dead with one more shot, so we'll just stay in and uh, take our medicine. Yeah, Karate Chop. That's not a fighting move, I don't think. I think that's a normal move, despite the fact it's a karate chop. <laughs> really should be a fighting move. Okay, um, well in that case then, we're going to go Gengar, because like I said, I think karate chop's a normal move, so Voltres won't resist it. So we'll go Gengar. I don't know what it's in the move is, that's the problem. And we'll go Hypnosis. I'm not really confused, Ray. Straight of hypnosis, and we'll see what comes back of this. As long as it isn't an earthquake, we're fine. If anything at all comes back at us, hopefully nothing will come back at us. Good, not well, on that turn at least. Right, this should be a two-hit kill. Providing it stays in, of course. And it is doing. Oh, that was useful. That should be an old coat. If it isn't, we'll just finish it with Thunderbolt. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Oh, it's Persian. Ah, good. Want to see this? So, obviously we're immune to Slash, so whatever else it's got, that's all it's going to fire back with. So we'll just go straight for Thunderbolt. I don't think we need to worry about what else it's got. You know, I was hoping it was, yeah. I knew it, I knew it would be a water or an electric move, so the fortune that means Moltres is kind of useless now. No, oh, that's irritating. Only mildly, though. Bullbeam gives uh, Petal Dance a run for its money, the least the least threatening move in terms of in, in terms of sounding. You've really done it now, I'm going to hit you with my vicious bubble beam. Doesn't quite work, does it? No, we don't have too many more critical hits. Thank you. No, we should we should be fine now. I mean, said that. I don't, I, don't, I don't think we're ever in danger, but obviously we've got less HP. So, and that first thunderbolt is it me or did it not do very much? Maybe it's just me. Anyway, battle over now. So one more thunderbolt can't possibly knock us out. Yeah, imagine all these Pokemon, much like they have on the Pokeball. Um, the Poker Cup, sorry, the Master Ball Division. I imagine they've all got two moves. 
So Persians are the move. This is Persians other move apart from uh, apart from Slash, obviously. Well, that was easy. Gengar, the Pokemon for all seasons. I don't think there's a, I think apart from maybe Sabrina. There's only you, you could pick Gengar for anything. That's how awesome it's. Maybe, well, maybe not Brock either. Maybe you'll bother with maybe you'll bother with Brock. And maybe not Giovanni actually. Well, no, Giovanni's got a Persian, hasn't he? So yeah. Anyway. Anyway, there we go. On to the uh, biker. So nice and easy so far. See what this guy's to offer. A little bit more poison. Yeah, a bit more poison knocking about here. And a ditto. And hyphens as well. This is the hyphen gym. So, to battle the uh, biker, we are going to pick Moltres, Gengar once again, and a first appearance for Victory Bell. So Moltres, uh, super effective against Jinx. Also weak to Jinx. <laughs> that could be that could be interesting, but it is super effective against it. Um, that's about it. Why do I pick Moltres? I'm assuming it must be just for the Jinx. Uh, Gengar... Super effective against Tentacruel. Uh, can't be poisoned, so maybe uh, resist poison as well. So we'll resist Muck and Weezing. Victory Bell, quad effective against Kabutops. Uh, that's kind of what that's here for. We would resist Tentacruel pretty well as well. If Ditto comes out, then we'll probably let it become Victory Bell. I'm just trying to work out where I start with Moltres. Well, there must be a reason. But I don't know what it is. Anyway, let's go. It's the gym third opponent. The gym leader is waiting right after this. Well, this jinx starts. Which of course it doesn't. So is it, was there, is it one of those where the jinx always starts? Uh, right. I wish it was jinx. Um, well, we're going to switch out, obviously. Let's go to... V I don't want to go to Victory Bell. I'd rather go to Gengar, to be honest with you. But surely it's going to have a water move lined up. I'm going to the guide, it doesn't have one, and I'm inclined to think that may be accurate. I don't think I can risk it, though. I need I need Victory Bell for... Um, I think I'm going to need Victory Bell for Kabutops. Um, I'll risk Gengar, perhaps, for better judgment. Maybe a mistake. But let's see. Yeah, that's what, I was, that's what I was expecting. That's what I was expecting. Although obviously it would have failed against um, Tentacruel uh, against Victory Bell as well. I just want to save Victory Bell. Like I said, I just want to save Victory Bell for Kabutops. I don't really want to see Jinx, to be honest. Uh, right, do you stay in? I'm going to go Thunderbolt anyway. See what it comes back with. Okay, I actually think it doesn't have a water move. So I wonder what it's going to do. So I'll hurt myself here, then I wonder what it's going to do. So I'm going to have to stay in. Unless it switches out, of course. Um, I really want to switch it because I don't really want to be... Right, let's go Hypnosis. Okay, just acid. Right, okay, so I can switch to Victory Bell then. Have I said that Poison Poison's neutral against... Um, poison will be neutral against Victory Bell. Right, I haven't hurt myself this time. And that doesn't really matter. I would have preferred it to a fit, obviously. Um, okay, conf let's go Confuse Ray, why not? Right, that's not the end of the world, as long as it isn't Jinx. If it is Jinx, we're out of there. <laughs> there we go, that was always going to come out. Right. If you can hit this, that'd be great. Right. I'm going to have to switch to Moltres here. I'm going to feel I'm going to get out sped, that's the problem. Um, so Moltres. So Tentacruel should be easy, provided we don't keep hurting ourselves. This will probably use Psychic. Yeah, there we go. Now, if you can not lower Special, that would be great. And of course, that was... Uh, more the predictable. Right. Do we go second here? I fear that we do. Um, I'm going to have to go for Fire Blast. Please hurt yourself. Yep. There we go. Punch yourself, not me. <laughs> Portion because of the special lowered. We're going to take more damage and this is going to do less damage. Come on. Oh, that crit. Oh, that was huge. Oh, that speeds things up. 
that was a bit fortunate, but we'll take it. Because that Ice Punch may have... I think without the Special Drop, I could have survived an Ice Punch, but I think with the Special Drop, that Ice Punch would have knocked me out, so... A little bit fortunate there, and just Muck left. Okay. So Muck and Tentacruel, so I think we'll be fine here. But no Kabutops. So in that case, I may send Victor Bell out against the uh, Tentacruel. Um, okay, we'll stay in then, and we'll go for... Oh, no, let's go Fire Blast. Special's been lower, but I don't think it matters. Okay, well, it definitely, definitely doesn't matter on that tent talk, so yeah, I should have I should have gone to Gengar, that was stupid. Uh, right, I'm gonna go to Gengar, I think. Or am I? No, we'll stay in. Uh Fire Blast. Moltres is kinda of redundant at this point. We have outspeed him up though, so that was why I was gonna try and save it. And get the special up a little bit. That's still not bad damage though, to be fair. If I get it down so one Thunderbolt or something knocks it out, then... Oh, hello. Well, that's not very nice, is it? MU minus K. Um, right. Yes, girl, switch out. Let's switch out and come back in, why not? If you could go for Hyper Beam right now, that'd be incredible. Oh, Body Slam. Just, I think I'll go for Dig somehow. Oh yeah, Screech again, yeah, that's fine. Play set up for Double Edge or something. What do I do now, actually? Because now I'm in. Um, we'll go back to, we'll go back to Mortars anyway. Save Gengar. I think, I think this battle's pretty much, uh, I think the only way we can lose now is if we... Uh, with confusion every turn against the tentacle, so Will it be okay? I think we'll be okay. Ooh, hello, hello. Didn't really want to see that. Right, okay. We need to get this out. We need to get this out quickly. Right, let's go. Half a fire blast. How bad is Moltres' move set? Bide and takedown and sky attack. That's unfortunate. Please go for anything but minimize. Thank you. What now? Right, of course, when uh, Tentacle comes back in, it's probably going to go straight for. Um, if, if, well, if Ben are knocking out here, Tentacle comes back in, it's probably going to go straight for um, Supersonic with my lower defense. If I hurt myself, I'll do decent damage. Right, that's the muck gone. So I'll stay in, just do what I can with Moltres, and we'll go from there. Yeah, I wonder what would happened if I had got that critical hit on Fire Blast. That was a little bit fortunate. This, may, this would have been a completely different battle. Oh, we'll go takedown, because Tentacle's, Tentacle's defense is worse stat, I think. Oh, this is going to do a lot of damage, actually, by the defense of Abner. No, not as much as I thought. What's this? Yeah, it's a hit. Yeah, there we go, that'll do. Start chipping away. Right. So let Moltres die. Because we're sadists like that. And we've got the two other two Pokemon left. We can just keep switching out if we if the confusion's taking effect, critically it doesn't matter. Well, thanks, Moltres. You did what you came for. And exactly what you came for, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, Victory Bell. Ah, oh, it's just should have gone Gengar. No, it doesn't matter. Like as long as we win, who gives? I could go for Rap here, actually. But I'm not going to. Um, okay, we are going to go, though, for... It's going to be Mega Drain, hasn't it? <laughs> Do you go straight for Super Sonic? Oh, hello. Hello. Exciting. Yeah, definitely save Gengar for this uh, for this thing then. Well, 
Another, another reason why, another reason to love Gen guys. If you need another one, it's immune to rap. Avoids hyper beams, body slams. I said, I said the best thing about Gen guys switching in on a hyper beam, it's, or a body slam. It's probably switching in on a self destruct actually. But um, yeah, that does come close. Right. Uh, ooh, let's go confused. Right. So we're gonna get hit with supersonic here. So hopefully it can miss. I think if this hits, I might just switch straight out. There we go. Yeah, I think if ever Supersonic hits, we'll just switch straight out to Victor Bell and come straight back in again. Assuming there's going to be a wrap on the way. Um, well, Thunderbolt. Not bothered with hypnosis. It would speed things up if it hit, but... But that's speeding things up nicely for us. So, a couple of Thunderbolts knock it out. And then we're on to Koga. This has been easy, hasn't it, so far? It's been the easiest gym, I, I, I think. I suspected um, after this gym, it, I, I was thinking up to this point, it shouldn't be too bad. And then after this gym, although Surge, I wasn't looking forward to Surge. I thankfully got to the Raichu fairly easily. Uh, oh, brilliant. I think I think Sabrina onwards, it's going to get a bit more difficult. And the Elite Four will be quite tough, so... Um, we'll make hay while we can. No good. Let's breathe things up a little bit. You can see why I picked Gengar for this gym. <laughs> Apart the fact it's just amazing at everything. Except battling Psyche types, of course. Not, it's not too really into those. Right, so he's on his bike. And now we can move on to the gym leader. Well, we pick a very similar team. Now this will be tougher than the uh, the other three, obviously. Ooh, hello. Oh dear me. No, 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 no. I think we all know what I'm saying that about. Okay. So the team for this battle is Moltres, Gengar, and Nido King. So Moltres quad against Parasect. Uh, the best thing for Tangular, obviously. Super against Venomoth as well, but probably going to use it for that. And I don't know if it's got Psychic hidden away. It probably will have no in there. You know, in this game, Gengar obviously resists poison and has Dreamy, so we're probably going to use that for Venomoth, Muk, and Weezing. Nida King super effective against Muk and Weezing. I don't, know, I don't know who I'm going to face Hypno with. Probably, it probably will have to be Moltres. Um, yeah, we'll see. Let's go. Hopefully, Hypno won't come out. That's the that's the best tactic for Hypno. Now, I think he'll always pick Venomoth. Right, didn't want to see this first. I'm not going to that. We'll go straight to Gengar, I think. Or should we go straight to Nida King? Um, yeah, we'll go straight to Nida King. Yeah, Nida King. I'm hoping it's got Toxic Lined Up or something like that. Save Moltres. Because if Hypno comes out, I think it's, we're going to have to battle with Moltres, I think. Given the fact that the other two are weak to Psychic. At least Gengar outspeed. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm to my voice then. At least Gengar outspeeds uh, Hypno, which is a rarity. Okay, that was fine. Right. So we should outspeed here so we can get this earthquake away. Start doing some damage. To the muck. Yeah, like I said, I think every 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 gym leader seems to have a go to Pokemon. I think this trainer's go to is Venomoth. So, I'm ex so we've got Muk, so, Ven so we've got Muk, we expect Venomoth, just one more. I'm, I'm hoping it's Parasect. Even though I've said many times Parasect's underrated, obviously we've got Quad affecting this with Fire, so... Right, it's switching out, so I'm expecting Parasect here. If it's switching. Or Tangela. Oh, hello. Fantastic. I may stay in here, actually, and just take my medicine. Let's see how much damage this does. Not as much as you want. This is the only one I didn't want to see. Um, because I think Gengar can kill Muk. It should be able to anyway. So, do I go Horn Drill? I, I'd love, I'd love it if I'd love if I went for Horn Drill and it hit. That's good. I'm going Earthquake. I, I think we. I don't know if we outspeed. Yeah, we do. So I could have gone Horn Drill. Right. We. Sh I think we can just survive one. So one sixteen. Ah, 66, right, so another earthquake will knock it out. 
if as long as we survive this. I think if it's normal damage, we'll survive. Well, let's see. Nope, of course not. It's Hypno. Of course. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> survive the Hypno. No, of course not. Ah, dear. If Hypno was a human being, it'd be Conor McGregor. Right. Okay, so Moltres. And trust me, that ain't a compliment. Let's not talk about it. Let, let, let's not bring that up again. Right. So I reckon now, one Fire Blast should be enough. So let's go. At least we outsped, so we got managed to get managed to get um, two earthquakes in, because obviously with the switching. Well, it so that just happened. I think it would have. I think the critically, I don't think it mattered anyway. I think it would have knocked it out. But that's the main threat gone. This so Gengar now we should be able to deal with everything else. I hope, I hope it doesn't send muck back. Oh, the video doesn't send muck. We we'll switch straight back to uh, muck. Yeah, there we go. So we just switched to Gengar. Let me say, if I hit Fire Blast, it'll probably knock it out, but. It's going to go for Toxic, so we'll just go to Gengar. Couple of Thunderbolts. Job done. And just a Venomoth, I believe. That's what it will be. If it is Venomoth, I may just go straight for Thunderbolt. Rather than uh, mess about going for Hypnosis and Dream Eater. Unlucky. So Thunderbolt. Two of these should be enough. May switch out, actually. No. We're a bit fortunate. Well, I say fortunate. Good job. That it was good that he switched out on the uh, the hypno. I'm surprised. Though. I didn't think I may have survived that. I, I, I'm pretty confident Gengar would have done, but I thought Nidoking King may just have clung on. <clears throat> it's always I wish I'd gone for Horn Drill now, because it, it, the Critical Hit Fire Blast. If if I'd gone for Horn Drill and missed, I think the Critical Hit Fire Blast would have knocked it out. So, there goes the muck. So, just the Venom off left. This has been the easiest episode of the run. I suppose the only bit of good fortune was the uh, the Fire Blast on the Jinx. I think, I don't know if maybe a different story had that not have happened. Okay, yep, there's the Venom off, as I suspected. So, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, go, yeah, we'll just go for Shiver Thunder, but we're super effective with, uh, with Moltres, so. Um. Yeah, all we need to do is just stay alive as long as we can. If it has got Psyche and knocks me out, Moltres will finish it off, so. Oh, hello. Mildly irritating. Um, it's not confused right then. You want to know a special? I'll confuse you. may not be out, actually, if it, if it is. If it is on a Psyche, it may not be out, given the special job. It's just in 62, so... There we go. Well, I'm going to prove myself to be a liar. Hypnosis. Don't want Gengar to get knocked out. In fact, I could switch out here. Because like I said, I don't want Gengar to get knocked out. Because we like Gengar. Good. Good. Um. That's great. <clears throat> why not? I think it's super effective, so why not? <laughs> I won't do as much damage as it could do. <coughs> ah, dear me. Oh, what a shame. Well, Moltres, just in case Thunderbolt doesn't do 35. I'm not bothering with Hypnosis again. So we'll save Gengar, which, by the way, is MVP. I think we need to uh, have much debate about that. I'm tempted to, get, I'm tempted to go with Sky Attack. Try and finish with a flourish. Yeah, screw it, Sky Attack. Why not? Let's see if I can actually hit Sky Attack for once. No, no. As if he outs oh, there we go. As if I say, as if he outspeeds me. I Having said that, I think even a critical hit wouldn't have knocked me out. Better without speeds Moltres. Am I, am I surprised? Eh, probably not really. Right, can I actually? I'm more surprised. I'd be more surprised if this Sky Attack hit. Because <laughs> my uh, success rate with Sky Attack is pretty shoddy. Come on, Moltres. Hey, there we go. <laughs> that is worth celebrating. 
So that's the uh, Future Gym done. Nice and straightforward. As I said, Gengar think the MVP and that's an easy one. Featured in all four battles, did something in all did something in all four battles, so. Pretty much bamboozled muck. Um, so uh Yep, yeah, we weren't mucking about with that one. Got straight on with it. So that was easy. So had we not already unlocked Sabina, we get a little box at the bottom saying you now have the key to the Saffron City Gym and we can move on up. These would be greyed out, but I think I've laboured that point now. So yeah, so we're going to move on now to the Saffron City Gym in the next episode, which is episode number 36. If you enjoyed episode number 35, uh, please like and share the video and do all the other stuff that you can do on YouTube uh, that makes this an interactive experience. But until we get to the Saffron City Gym, for now, it is sayonara.